Hello, this is Fnatic. I'm here to tell you how to install Better Than Wolves Community Edition in Minecraft 1.5.2. Uh, this is specifically for people coming from Leon Talks A Lot's Two Hours of Pain video, um, where he goes through his experience going through this mod. Um, I saw quite a lot of people in the comments talk about how they didn't understand how to install the mod, so I wanted to go over that to hopefully give anyone looking to install this mod, including anyone looking to install this mod in the future, as I don't see the installation method changing much, uh, a chance to install this and enjoy the mod. I'm in fact the person who made the thumbnail for this video, which I want to thank Leon for letting me <laughs> be... Uh, <laughs> in charge of basically his image when I made this. Um, I'm very happy that quite a few people in the comments have said that they like the thumbnail that has really just made the, um, the time I spent working on it. And honestly, a lot of my art, the time I spent working on my art in general, worth it. So thank you to the people in the comments that have mentioned my thumbnail and uh, thought that it was good. So the first thing is we need to install this mod. <laughs> so if you go down into the description, I should have all the download links laid out. Um, they should be just one after another, everything I go through in this tutorial. So first things first is Java. Uh, Minecraft 1.5.2, the version of Minecraft that Better Than Wolves is based in, there's no way to install this mod on Bedrock, so if you're using Bedrock, sorry, but I don't think you'll be able to play this mod. Um, and I don't see them porting it to Bedrock in any way at any point in the future, so uh, you'll either have to get Java or, um, well, you're kind of SOL. <laughs> Minecraft 1.5.2 uh, specifically uses Java 8. Um, I believe it uses all the way back to Java 1.5, uh, Java 8, so, uh, Java 5, sorry. Um, <laughs> I have a bit of a cold and it's late, so my brain is kind of working at half speed here. Java 8 is the most up-to-date version that 1.5.2 will use. Um, so you're going to want to go to the link I uh, put in the description, and it should take you here. You're going to want to scroll down until you find Windows X64 installer. I'm going to assume you're using Windows. If you're using Linux or Mac, this will be different. Uh, I they do have options for Mac OS and Linux here, so uh, you can go through finding how to install those for yourself. If you're trying to do this on Linux, I'm sure you already know how to do it. Um, if you're trying to do it on Mac, then uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so going to want to go to Windows X64 installer, download this. It should be a very simple download. You just download it, install it, just run through the steps. It should just be as simple as clicking next a few times. And then you're done. You have Java 8 installed. And you should be able to run Minecraft 1.5.2 perfectly fine. Uh, next is MultiMC. Uh, you're going to want to go to the link, go to download and install. And here will be three options, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, if you're on Mac or Linux, you can figure that out for yourself. Since I'm not on either of those, I'm on Windows. Uh, download the Windows version. Uh, and again, it should just be as simple as run the file that's downloaded. Go through the steps. It should just be as simple as hitting next a few times. It may ask you to log in to your Minecraft account, whether that's a... Mojang account or Microsoft account will depend on if you went through the account migration process when that happened. Either way, it should just be as simple as following what it says on the screen. Um, once you are in MultiMC and it's installed, it should look something like this. Um, MultiMC is just a profile manager for Minecraft, so you can have multiple different profiles with a bunch of different mods and they won't conflict with each other. They're all their own separate entities that you can switch between at will. Um, it makes handling mods and mod packs and stuff super easy. The only reason I don't have all my mod profiles here is because I removed them just to give you a better idea of what this looks like at stock defaults. So if you didn't already during the installation process, you're going to want to go to the top right. This won't have your username like it does for me. It will just have a 
default like grayed out Minecraft Steve and like no account or something written up here. Um, either way, you're going to want to click on it and go to manage accounts. And then here, this will be blank. There'll be no um, profiles or anything. Uh, you're going to want to go to add Microsoft or add Mojang, depending on if you have a Microsoft or Mojang account and run through the steps, like I said. And then you should eventually be logged in and ready to go. Um, once that's done, Molly MC is just fine. You can uh, leave that for now while we go through the process of downloading the rest of the mod. So you're going to want to go to uh, the next link, which will be for Better Than Wolves itself. Um, you will arrive on this page for uh, Molly MC Instance Fabric plus Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild, Better Than Wolves. Uh, C 2.1.4 Fabric 1.1.0 You're going to want to go down here and do not download anything below the .zip. You're going to want to download the .zip and only the .zip. And once that is downloaded, you should have a file that looks like this. This file should not be unzipped. You shouldn't take anything out of this. Um, it says 7z on the icon, that's just because I have 7zip downloaded, by default it looks like a little folder with a zip on it, and that's perfectly fine, doesn't matter, as long as it's the .zip, it should work perfectly fine. As long as you haven't done anything to it, you've just downloaded it and put it somewhere uh, that you can easily get it. Um, next, you're going to want to download Craft Guide. Craft Guide is a uh, recipe viewer for inside of the game um, that is pretty much essential for if you don't want to be going back and forth between wiki pages constantly. This is just as simple as go to the link I provided and go to Craft Guide 3.0.2.jar, download that, and you should get this file. Um, it should just be a .jar, it should have the Java icon, if it doesn't that's okay, it should still work fine. Um, and that's craft guide downloaded and the same for mobs enhancement add-on you don't need to download this this is entirely optional um this is to make the mobs have uh some different ai some different behaviors uh more like different damage different speeds um a lot of better than wolves uh community members uh say that this is pretty much the best mo the best add-on to have if you want to make it kind of like the true better than wolves experience you don't necessarily need to download this this is just an extra thing to give it a bit more challenge um the mod is already very challenging so don't feel worried about skipping it on this if you want to just go with the base mod first again same as the last file you want to go down and download the top jar file, uh, not the one below it, not the source code, etc. down below that, the top jar file, the fix.jar. Go and download that. And then that's absolutely everything downloaded that you need to download. You should have these three files, you should have Java installed, you should have multi-EMC installed and ready to go. And uh, that should be it. So first you're going to want to go to add instance and you should have this. You want to go to import from zip. You want to go to browse. You want to go down to wherever you install, you downloaded it to. You want to click on the cursed fabric btw mullymc.zip and click open. And that will fill in this with the path to the zip file. Once you've done that, you can click OK. And this is it here. What you can then do is go to right click on it, go to Ed Instance, and go to Settings on the left here, and then the Java tab, Java Installation, click that so there's a little checkbox, click Auto Detect, and then you want to use 1.8, the this one here, that should have a little star beside it. Um, if you have any other versions, they will probably not work, you just want to use 1.8. Uh, click OK, and then this should be good to go. You should be able to just launch this and you'd be able to play it perfectly fine. But first we want to download our add-ons onto it so we can have a recipe viewer and have a bit more challenge from the, the mobs being a bit enhanced. So right-click, edit instance, 
And now you want to go to Loader Mods. You want to go to Add. You want to go to where you downloaded the jars to. You want to click on Craft Guide. Click Open. Then you want to do it again. Add. Mobs Enhancement Add-on. Again, Mobs Enhancement Add-on is optional, but you can do that if you wish. And then that's it. That should be it done. You can then open it. And give it a minute. Good to get Minecraft open. And in the bottom left, it should say Better Than Wolves CE. If you go to options, you can change up your options, uh, video settings, put your brightness up, etc. Uh, controls, you should have an open craft guide button. Uh, and that should be it. You can then create your world. Uh, you can go through all this. You can change any of these options if you wish. And then once you're in, it should be better than wolves. It should have the three mods we installed in the bottom left. You can punch grass and it'll take fucking forever. <laughs> and there you go, you should get piles of dirt. You can press G and it will open up craft guide. You can set item, you can choose your item, search for it. I want to make dirt slabs. Uh, you can see all these different options. You can see pile of dirt. You can see four piles of dirt makes a loose dirt slab. So if I just go in here, do this, ah, we have a loose dirt slab. And there you go. That's how everything works. And the mobs should all do their thing. And as you can see, I'm already getting murdered by pigs. <laughs> um, and that's it. That's the mod installed. Um, as it should be. I really hope this helped you. I hope that you enjoyed the thumbnail if you came from Leon's video. And if you haven't came from Leon's video, I will link that as well that you can go check out. It is a video that's very much worth checking out if you're into Minecraft mods and hardcore stuff and whatnot. Thank you for checking this out, and I hope this helped you. And I will see you whenever I get around to making another video, or if you check out my Twitter, you can check out my art, and I'll see you whenever I make new art. So, see you later. Bye.